Hello everyone, I'm back here with another uh, quick video update on the Cycles rendering plugin for 3ds Max. Uh, along with this video, I'm releasing a new alpha version and just wanted to share some of the new features that will be available. So first of all, I set up a simple scene here with a a torus and these two these two lights. So I'm, what I'm going to use this to demonstrate is the new the new volumetric nodes I've added to the plugin. So what I have in this scene is just this uh, this volume scatter material applied to the torus and two lights, and I'll do a quick render to show you what that looks like. So you can see this is just a simple volume scatter effect. Light goes in and can come out at uh, essentially any angle, and it uh, can create things like uh, smoke and the like. So the other bit that's come along with this, so that's that's that was the volume scatter material. I've also brought in the volume absorb material. Uh, volume emission is not in yet, but that will be coming. Uh, but the other bit that we can do with these uh, volumes is use the cycle shader. And what this lets us do is combine a volume and a surface. So I'll make it big here so we can see the preview. Attach this volume to it. Then I can pull in a glass material, or any, any transparent material really, and apply it to the surface. And now what we get is the glass reflection and refraction on the surface, but we still get all the... inside the material still treats it with that volume shader. So I can apply this to the torus here. We can have a look at how this renders. So you can see inside uh, inside the torus we still plainly have that volume scattering effect going on, but now that glass layer on top of it gives us uh, the surface look we want. And using using that cycles shader node uh, in the material editor, you can combine any any volume and any surface shader uh, just to get the to get the look you want for it. Uh, the other bit that came along with support for these volumes, I'll pull, I'll make a new uh, a new volume scatter to show this off. So volumes uh, can be a little bit slow to render sometimes. Like so, if I expand this out, um, you can see it took like a second. It wasn't too long, but uh, with more with more complicated materials, uh, th those can take a bit to render the samples. So what I've added is the preview sample setting in the render dialog. So we can just uh, turn this down to one. And now, when I update this, it will update very quickly and be very, be very grainy. But uh, if you're if you're finding problems with rendering times for your samples that's taking too long, uh, this option is available. It defaults to 32, which should be pretty quick and good for most cases. But if you get a very complicated material, uh, that may slow you down. Other than that, there is not a lot new in this version. That is the the main feature. But uh, other little additions are the um, these clamp direct and clamp indirect were in the previous version, but did not work. I can just uh, show those off both now. Do another render. You'll see everything's much darker because I clamp to uh, to 0.5 instead of to one, or not to one instead of to nothing. Uh, so be before these would go all the way all the way bright on the on their color channels, and now now they do not. They get clamped at 0.5. Um, and also, I've added this uh, this bit down here to let you know what what version of the plugin you're running. Uh, but that is all that is new for now. Uh, we'll be continuing to work on this and add more stuff uh, and have more updates for you all in the future. Thank you.